let's just yeet into time one, shall we? Whoa. Oh my god. Uh, I'm asking for pain with a direct drive wheel doing that. What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're trying out the low sail circuit. Hopefully I've got that pronunciation right. Uh, around Qatar, the new circuit that's gonna be uh, tested by Formula One cars this year in action, I think in November, so not too far away now. And uh, I just want to see what it's like to race this circuit with these cars. I have raced here before on MotoGP bikes, but with F1 cars, it's going to be a whole different kettle of fish. So what I want to find out in this video is if this is a good circuit for F1 and whether we can actually overtake around here. So we're in the... Uh, Daniel Ricardo Golf McLaren Mobile and we're gonna have some fun. I'm also in the in the sim rig for a dedicated video with webcam that I've done ever. So this will be interesting. Um, hopefully guys like the, the setup and the angle and everything. So let's get into it. Okay then, let's get out there and see what this circuit is like to drive then, shall we? I've done a, actually a couple of laps in practice. So, I'm kind of more prepared than what I normally am for my Asado Corsa videos. I want to I leave a good impression since it's been such a long time. Hopefully no corner cutting penalties today, eh, Ben? Okay, here we go. Look at the run we got on the Alpine. We're going to dispatch them as we head into the last corner. And we're going to start the flying lap of the low sail circuit here in Qatar. Now, this circuit... Um, there's not a lot of landmarks to choose from. It's very hard to loan the circuit, I will say that much. Down into turn one. Breaking at just about the 50 meter board. Late apex. Get on the power uh, as early as you can. And then this left-hander. Double apex. I'm not going to be on the limit. I'm still learning the circuit, so just bear that in mind. I am very much struggling still. Still haven't done a clean lap around here without spinning or the AI getting in my way or some weirdness. Just happening, so we're going to be pushing it about 80%, I'd say. Hairpin left. The uh, first half of the lap is comprised of a lot of slow speed corners, which entice you to break or push that little bit harder into them, and then you find out on exit, oh, you've gone in too fast, and you're throwing away lots of time. But yeah, there's uh, lots of corners, which uh, it's, it's hard to know where to break and where to turn in, because it... The track looks very, very flat, and there's not many references around the circuit. Um, overtaking is going to be quite difficult as well. We head into this right-hander. That's actually a lot faster. This uh, second half of the lap is where you can really throw the car around, which I'm going to do here. Particularly this left-hander right here. It's completely flat out. If you get the right line! And that's the first time... That's the first time I've died at that corner. Would you believe it? Yeah, the car's dead. The car's gone. <laughs> we were one corner from home. Sector 3 is very, very fun. We're going to skip session. And we're going to throw ourselves straight into the race after all that. Um, believe it or not, I have done practice. I have actually done practice, but I'm still rubbish. So, um, so that's that. We're going to change the tyres. I was running on the C3s. Definitely not an excuse. We are now going to throw ourselves into the race. Um, and it might actually be a little bit easier for me because we've got other cars as a reference. So um, let's give this a, a rough go and see if you can overtake around here uh, or if the racing's enjoyable. So here we go. First race around the LaSalle circuit here in Qatar. We are the guinea pigs. Six red lights and we are underway. People opening DRS right off the line, which is interesting, and we're gonna have to lift off there to avoid our teammate and up being spun. To the replays we go. Here we go. We get off the line. Now kind of lifted here. And then here. Oh, he just turns it on me. The Ferrari completely spins us out. Let's try again, shall we? This time I'm not holding back. You guys can get mugged off the line. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Great start there. It's a shame we can't get starts like that on the F1 game. And damage already. 
So for the first time in my videos I've enabled damage on. I think that might be a mistake because the uh, Assetto Corsa AI are a bit mental. <laughs> they don't know what a corner is sometimes. But we are through with uh, slight damage. Damage do you have then? All the comments are coming in now. We're P7. Nice little start for us here. Five lap race. And uh, yeah, you guys can make up your own minds as to whether you like this circuit or not. As a, as a qualifying circuit, it's actually pretty fun once you get into the swing of it. Especially uh, the second half of the lap where the corners are very, very open and flowing. Here, AI. Don't know what they're doing. I'm being touched. I'm, I'm stuck to the Haas car. Lovely stuff. Yeah, the AI are pretty good through the low speed. It's the high speed where they really struggle. Like here, we can go much, much, much faster. I don't know what they're doing. But there we go. The AI seem like they're still on a, uh, a formation lap, it seems. At least when they're in traffic anyway. We got a Williams on the podium. Is that George Russell? I think it might be. We're going to steam past them in a straight line. McLaren straight line speed, and he's actually coming back at us here. Get the shift up into eighth gear. That was my problem. I carried away with talking. That's why you don't talk and drive at the same time. Very difficult to do both effectively. But we're making do. P3 for now. I'd love to see what this circuit looks like at night. It's a shame that it's not in the F1 game. Uh, and it probably never will be because this circuit... Oh, Spinala. We're just going to rejoin dangerously. It's okay. It's a video game. So this circuit won't be on the calendar next year. I think that's been confirmed. And um, I know there's a 10-year deal, but the 10-year deal is for Qatar itself. So I think they're going to make a street circuit, much like they're doing in Saudi Arabia right now. And they're going to race there for 10 years. Which... Um, Again, it's a very interesting concept. I, I, I spoke about this briefly on Twitter. Like, going to any circuit for 10 years is a massive commitment, let alone one you've never been to before, ever raced on one that doesn't even exist yet. Um, so, like I said, it better be good. It better be darn good uh, for us to be putting up with it for 10 years. But yeah, uh, because this circuit was never intended to be on the calendar this year, it's not going to be in the F1 game, and uh, they're not going to be racing here in the future. I don't think, but you know, these things change very quickly. You guys know this, but I'm not the biggest advocate for uh, a Sado Corsa. I mean, I love the game itself for like what you can do modding wise, but I just do not agree or cannot get behind the. Uh... And that's why. I don't know what you've seen up until this point, but this is definitely the first attempt. The AI are a bit crazy. Just the high speed corners, they just lose all their pace. So I've made them more aggressive. Don't know if that's a good, good idea or not. And uh, we've buffed them to make them faster as well. Hopefully that will make life better for us. Still the AI are... It's almost dangerous how slow they are. <laughs> that's a flat out corner, mate. Six red lights, and we are underway. It's a terrible first phase of the start. But I'm like, yeah, one game. The second phase is where we really shine. Yeah! Sorry. I literally had to get out of the power there to not spin the Alfa Romeo around. So when you touch the AI, <laughs> they, uh, they go from a 800 kilo F1 car to an 8 kilo F1 car. Gravity just forgets that it exists, and that is no grip central out there. Like, watch this. Just try not to hit them, basically. And here as well. Come on, guys. This isn't a formation lap. Whoop, I still made contact. Oh, and he saved it. Good stuff. Last corner. McLaren dives in nice and early. It's McLaren v McLaren. But we've got the gold spec. We've got the upgrades on. Oh, it's Daniel. <laughs> Bye. We've uh, survived the first lap, which is always my biggest hurdle in these types of videos. 
do I now have the consistency to march on and finish without blowing myself up? Hopefully. Oh, as we commit to the dive bomb there, they actually leave space. They know we exist. I'm going to spam some ERS. And it might work, actually. Pressing the overtake button. I don't know if it's working or not. We're going to fly around the outside there. And see ourselves into P6. Massive train up ahead. Either someone has damage, which uh, is theoretically not really possible. I know I said I turned the damage off, but I've turned it down to 10%. So the effects are still there, but it's only going to be minor. So it's either damage or there's a back marker leading this race. Doing a, a road to glory style thing. Here we go. P5. Oh, I'm committed for the send into the last corner. I'm sorry. I nearly got spun around there, but we're through. Sorry, Maxi boy. We're proving so far you can overtake. If you're desperate enough. The Alpine re-overtaking me, which is uh, absolutely lovely to see. Catch up to his teammate. Sorry. That's the bane of my life right there. Restart number 5023. Don't even know what this video is any anymore. Six red lights. Wheel spin city. Give me a clean race. Oh. Good. Oh. We can't get past lap one. I'm gonna let them go. They have a five second head start. I'm still gonna catch them by turn one. Oh, fuck me. Why do we even bother? Let's make them a lot faster. A lot faster and that's like half the grid. Not sure I like this circuit to be honest. I like the second half. But the first half is just filled with long sweeping slow speed corners. Which I don't think suits Formula 1 cars. I don't think it, it doesn't feel that nice. If I'm honest, these things kind of right in their sweet spot where in that higher speed, but then higher speed is where they can't follow each other. So catch 22, this is where you definitely won't be able to follow someone else. Unless you do that. Bye, Stroll. Awkward corners. Uh, you know, at first I thought maybe I'm just not used to the circuit. I'm still learning the circuit, obviously. But like, oh, come on. fucking hell! I can't even get a point across without dying at some point. That's all this video has been. Try to talk about something, die. This, this circuit, I've got to say, it's got a lot of awkward corners. At first. I thought it was because I was getting used to the track and I just was committing myself too deep in the corners. But even now that I know kind of where to break, I'm always kind of second guessing myself as to like whether I've actually nailed it or not. Because you've got to commit in and then you're just kind of re overreaching, trying to get the corner, the car around the corner and then awkwardly get on the power. Such weird, long, slow speed corners. Which, uh, in these cars, the cars are just too big. They feel a bit cumbersome, really. I think it does kind of reward bravery and just pushing. But it is very technical at the same time. I think people who have really good control over trail braking will be extra potent around here. But it just is a bit of an awkward circuit. It's not made for these kind of cars, which is uh, a bit of an odd decision as to why they've come here, really. We know why they've all come here. A bit odd, really. That a, the pinnacle of motorsport tends to go to new circuits based on other factors other than the racing. Yeah, let's go to some random MotoGP track. Sounds great. Works for MotoGP. It'll 100% work for these cars. Like, look at me. I'm just on, off the throttle, really awkwardly, just trying not to dodge these AI in the race. It's going to be an absolute nightmare for dirty air. There's literally only one or two overtaking spots on the circuit, and that's it. And this is one of them. So, 
Let's size up the Alpine here as we head down into turn one. Looks like the Mercedes has also got similar ideas. But even then, it's not a really slow speed corner. It's not a hairpin. It's not going to be potentially that great for overtaking either unless you have the DRS zone really early on in the piece on the straight. Another problem as well is they're bringing uh, the hardest compounds possible to the circuit. Because they have no idea what the tire wear is going to be like in these cars. And then as well, I think it's going to prevent the overtaking from happening. We need softer compounds, Pirelli. And every... Get, get off me! We need the softest compounds possible to have the tire wear, to have differences in strategy, to have people with brand new tires versus people on older tires. To get that difference in, in pace, to actually make the racing better. But if everyone's doing a one-stop, softer mediums or softer hards or whatever, medium to hards, there's going to be no strategy. <laughs> it's going to be terrible. I could be wrong, though. But F1, why? Why, why are we racing here? Wow, the AI really can't race each other. They're playing it safe. In the massive train, as such, we caught up. We're on the penultimate lap of the Grand Prix. I've got to get my head down here and concentrate. We can make up a lot of time here. Oh, and I misjudged. I thought this was one of the highest speed corners. That's not the problem. Every, every, most of the, half the corners look the same. This track looks very flat. I want to like the circuit. I'm trying to like the circuit. There is... I don't know. I'm just not agreeing with it on a set of Corsa right now. And the AI, of course, aren't helping with that fact. Get off me. Here we go. We're on the last lap. We're in P11. These guys are terribly slow. Let's see if we can do something about this. Turn one. Oh no, my camera has died. That's okay because we've got my other camera, my webcam. We're gonna press on. It's just no braking zones, really. It's tricky. Awkward corners as well. We're gonna go for this at the hairpin. This as well is gonna be an overtaking zone if tire wear comes into it, which it won't. Nice. Hard compounds. Maybe graining will uh, shake up the pack a little bit through this speed right hander into a slower medium speed corner. Come on. P9, can we get on the podium in the McLaren? High speed corners coming up. Outside line on the LP. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Get out of the way! Woo! No! Why? Why? I was already past you! Oh, the AI are terrible! Absolutely disgusting! This is why we can't have nice things. Here we go. This is the this is the lead up to it all. Try and go right around the outside of the Alpine and the Mercedes. It's the Mercedes coming up that bins us. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, this was a bit of a desperate move. I thought we were okay. But... Turns out that was my bad. Here we go, we got the golden run. I knew the AI were gonna move back over to the right. And so I had to like, squeeze into the inside and then I just wasn't clear. There wasn't enough space for me to get underneath everyone. And that was... GG. That is a race. A very scuffed race here at LaSalle, Qatar. So what's my verdict then on this circuit? Uh, I, I think it's going to be pretty bad for overtaking. So many low speed corners which aren't going to lend themselves well to overtaking. There's going to be lots and lots of dirty air. Uh, and just not many overtaking zones. There's not enough long straights. Um, Turn one will be your best overtaking zone, but it's it kind of leads into a medium tightening kind of corner, which may not lend itself well to uh, to overtaking. But hopefully I'm wrong. Um, we were somewhat wrong about the French Grand Prix circuit in Paul Ricard a few years ago, but 
there was lots of long straights. Well, there were a few long straights, which, which definitely helped things. But here, doesn't quite have the same luxury. So it'll be interesting. I'm praying it's going to be better than what we hope it's going to be. And then, of course, in 2023, when they move to the more permanent fixture on the calendar in Qatar, they'll hopefully have uh, a formula or a blueprint that is uh, better than what we currently have. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of the video. Apologies about my rubbish driving in this one. Uh, it's been a while since I've played a set of courses, so I need to obviously get back to it and do more mod videos again. So let me know what you want to see in the future. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys for a brand new video very soon.